Hi, George here, and today I'll be showing you how to change the color of the buttons here inside of Minecraft. This is Minecraft 120.4, so this is the new way of doing this. Now you need to have some place to work on your files. Let me show you where I have mine set up. You bring that folder up, and I made a folder here on my hard drive. I just called it Pack. Nothing special about that. I can get rid of all of this stuff in here. Hit the delete key. There we go. Just an empty folder right here. The next thing you need to get the vanilla resource pack from Minecraft, and you find that in the Minecraft launcher in Java edition. Go up here where it says installations and latest release and click on that folder icon right there. This brings up the Minecraft files and here scroll down till you find versions right there. Open this up and you want to have the 120.4 folder which is right there. Bring this up and you want that jar file. Now, if you're only seeing just one file in here, then you need to go ahead and launch Minecraft and play it at least as far as the title screen. That's when this file downloads. If you're not seeing the .jar, then you have to go over here where it says View, come down to Show, and put a check mark right here next to File and Extensions. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top up here to the View tab and put a check mark next to File and Extensions, and you'll then see that. Here's our working folder, and then take this and then right drag it over here and copy. There we go. Close that down. Now on this, click into the name and it should do this. If it doesn't do that, just click in once, click in a second time, give it a space, and then change the .jar to .zip. There we go. Choose yes. It's now a regular zip folder. Right click on this and open in new window. There we go, we now have two floating windows. The first we need here is the pack.png icon file. So I'll scroll down. And it's way down here towards the bottom, pretty far. And it's right there. Just take this, right drag it over here and copy. There we go. We now need to have the files that are needed for making our buttons. So go back in here, scroll back to the top, go inside of the assets folder, inside of the Minecraft folder, come down to textures, go inside of textures, come down to GUI, go inside of GUI, inside of sprites. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Come all the way down to widget, go inside of widget, and right in here, you want the ones that say button. It's button PNG, disabled and highlighted. And you want those MC meta files as well. So click on your first one. I'll come down, hold the shift key and take all six of these, right drag those over here and copy. Those are the files that we need. We'll be changing this file, this file, and this file. We now need to make this folder set up here. Starting off with the assets folder. That's the, in here, just go over to new folder. First one is assets. Go inside of assets, same thing, new folder. Next one is Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft, another folder in here. This is textures. Notice that these are all lowercase, no uppercase letters at all. Inside of textures, new folder, GUI. Inside of GUI, new folder, sprites. Inside of sprites, new folder. And this one is widget. There we go. Okay back out here to your basic folder. So our folders are all set up. We have our pack PNG. We're also gonna be needing a pack MC meta file. We'll take care of that later on. We now can come in here and change the colors of these. And I'll close this back folder out, get rid of that. There we are. You can use any graphics program you want to to change your colors, it doesn't matter. Make sure the size stays the same and we're just changing just the color. I'll be doing this in Photoshop Elements just because I happen to like that program. But anything is fine. You can use Windows Paint 3D, that's fine. Any of the online versions, you can use paint.net, also works great. So we bring up that program. There are those Photoshop elements in the background, and here's our images in the foreground. I'm just gonna use the control key here and grab all three of these, and I'll just drag and drop these in, opens those up, and I'll arrange these so that we can see these properly. i put the disable at the bottom, regular button on top, the highlighted button in the middle. And these are all grayscale images. The first thing you have to do is convert the mode over to RGB, and that's image mode, RGB, again, any good program can do this. Image mode RGB, and our final one down here, image mode and RGB. Now that it's a color image, we can just change the color on this. A standard way is to use a hue saturation control, and I have that one right here. Choose colorize, and then adjust your hue. I have a nice blue, kind of like that, make it a bit more saturated. So something around in here is fine for this one. Now you may want to copy down your numbers over here, so we can then recreate that for our next ones. Or just visually adjust those, that's fine. Either one is okay. There's our first one, that's the regular button color. Let's come down to the highlight. I want this one brighter. 
So the same trick, use a hue saturation control, colorize that, there we go. Get into the blue range. Want more saturation on this one, so it's brighter. Looks pretty good right there. And the final one is our disabled button. Same thing. Hue saturation, colorize, get into the blue range. And saturation is just kind of a blue, but a dark blue. And there we go. We now need to save these back out as PNG files. Go to the top one here, file save, and put it right back on top of the original one if you want to, or we can go ahead and put this inside of our folders. So save you a step. Let's go inside the folders, all the way into the widgets folder, put it right here, choose save. That one's done. Let's come down to the highlighted, same thing. File save, all the way inside the folders. Right there, choose save. And the disabled button, same exact thing, save. All the way inside the folders. Right here, choose save. And those are all set. Okay, let's close this down. And that's all the graphics that you have to do. So we have our assets folders, it's all set. We have our pack PNG. All we need left now is just the pack.mc meta file. It used to be included in the zip file, it no longer is. So I put it on my website, let me show you where that is. And it's right here, I'll put this link in the description. Come down, we're using the most recent version right here, 120.3 to 120.4, and that's pack format 22. Just download this, click on this, and we'll download this, and put it into the same folder, choose save, that's done. There it is. We now need to extract that file out of here, so right click, open in new window. There's your pack MC meta, just drag it over here. There we go. And you can then delete that zip file, we no longer need that. And this is all set to go, unless you wanna change the description up here. The name doesn't matter, but if you wanna go ahead and change that, it's okay. I'll just call this one buttons, and save, and now that's it. We can now go ahead and build the resource pack. We need the assets folder, hold the control key down, click on that pack MC meta and the pack PNG. Right click, compress to zip file, again this is Windows 11. And I'll rename this, I'll call mine buttons three. If you're in Windows 10, select those files, go up to the top, click on the share tab, and your zip button is right up there. Now that we have zipped this up, we can put it into Minecraft, so we'll bring back up the launcher. Let me just get rid of this folder here, bring the launcher back up again, right here. Go back to your latest release, click on the folder right there. This time, come down to the resource packs folder, here it is, there's the one that I showed you in the demo. So put our new file right in here, I'll just put this right there, bring up our working folder, take this and just drag and drop right over here. There's the new zip, that's all set. We can now add this into the game and test it out, make sure it all works. Just minimize those out of the way. Make sure Minecraft is not running, then go over here, click on play. This will install anything which needs to be installed, including copying in that new resource pack. Then all I have to do is just to activate the resource pack. Here we are, nice gray buttons, come down to options into resource packs. You should see it on your left hand side, there's the buttons three. Click on that arrow, comes over here to the right hand side, we're all set, choose done. It's going to reset and activate that pack. And there's our blue buttons, and then there's the color change as you roll over those. Choose done, and there we go. So real easy as you can see to change your color of your buttons. If you want, you can even change the images, just keep the size the same, don't change the size. We can change anything inside here, different textures, whatever you like, that's just fine. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.